a World War II German railway gun capable of firing shells from northern France all the way to England. This beast of a weapon, a true titan of artillery, was designed for destruction on an unimaginable scale. The K5 railway gun was one of the most powerful railway guns ever built by Nazi Germany. Its 283mm calibre barrel was capable of launching 250 kilogram shells up to an incredible 65 kilometres, or 40 miles. And with later rocket-assisted shells, that range increased to 150 kilometres, or 93 miles. This massive artillery piece was originally designed to take on France's Maginot Line, a seemingly impenetrable series of fortifications between France and Germany. But here's the thing. The German army didn't even need it. Instead of battering the Maginot Line head-on, they simply went around it through Belgium, making the railway gun's original purpose obsolete before it ever fired a shot. The Germans loved railway guns, and for good reason. Trains allowed these enormous weapons to be transported quickly across long distances using pre-existing rail infrastructure. They were mobile, incredibly powerful, and had outrageous range, making them almost impossible for enemy artillery to counter. To put things into perspective, the American Long Tom artillery piece had a maximum range of 24 kilometers. The Soviet 203mm B4 howitzer just 18 kilometers. Both were among the most powerful artillery pieces of the Allies. Yet the K5's range dwarfed them both. But there was a catch, a big catch. Despite its power, the K5 was far from perfect. It could only rotate one degree left or right. So if it needed to aim at a new target, engineers had to literally build curved railway tracks just to reposition it. And if they had the time, they built massive turntables to give the gun 360 degree rotation. That's a lot of effort just to turn your gun. And speaking of effort, each K5 gun required 42 men to operate, and that was just the firing crew. Add in engineers, security, cooks, administrative staff, and support personnel, and you're looking at an entire army unit just to keep these guns running. The K5 saw action on multiple fronts including Russia, France, Italy, and even the defence of Germany itself. But perhaps its most famous moment came during the Battle of Anzio, Italy, in 1944. Two K5s, nicknamed Leopold and Robert by the Germans, but better known as Anzio Annie and Anzio Express to the Allies, wreaked havoc on Allied troops landing at Anzio. In fact, these two guns alone were responsible for 83% of all casualties suffered during the landings. The Allies desperately tried to take them out, bombing suspected locations, but the Germans had a clever trick up their sleeve. The K-5s would hide inside tunnels after firing, making them nearly impossible to destroy. It wasn't until three months later, when the Allies finally closed in, that the Germans abandoned the guns blowing them up to prevent their capture. So, were these railway guns actually effective? Well, not really. The K5 might have been one of the most successful railway guns in history, but that doesn't mean it was a good weapon. By the 1940s, warfare had changed. The Germans built these massive cannons, but the Allies had bombers. Instead of spending millions on railway artillery, they simply dropped thousands of kilograms of bombs on their targets. And let's be honest, hiding a 220-tonne, 31-metre-long railway gun was never going to be easy. Still, you have to admit, this thing looks absolutely amazing. Standing next to this beast really puts into perspective just how insanely huge these railway guns were. It's a rare glimpse into the past a past filled with mega-weapons, over-the-top engineering, and some truly insane ideas. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into history, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more incredible war relics, crazy engineering, and forgotten military history.